Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys as you can see we are going to be doing a review on Virtual Pool 4. Now to start it off I'm just going to tell you guys the flat out right away. If you guys don't have this yet and you uh, have 30 bucks sitting around I would highly suggest buying it if you uh, want to learn how to play pool. It is guaranteed to make your game better and um, I did a review on uh, Pool Nation, you know, about a week or a few weeks ago, I think now, and the the main complaint I had about that is I couldn't use the shots that I normally use, all my English and that sort of thing, but guess what, guys, I can totally use it in this one. So um, I'm going to start this off by kind of explaining some of this stuff, and then we're actually going to do an eight ball game against myself, and we'll see how we do. So uh, basically we have a bunch of settings here. This is Virtual Pool. It is a great game. Um, we got Quick Play. We have a Pro Tour Career Play. We have Hustler Career Play. We have Video Lessons. And as you guys can see through in here, there is a whole lot of different video lessons. They're definitely cool. They're by Steve... Uh, Steve DeKing, I'm just going to call him DeKing, I don't, I'm not sure, but uh, they're really cool. It, it really teaches you how to how to do a lot of these shots, um, jump shots, I'm still, I have not tried that quite yet, but for the most part, the other stuff, I, I already have an idea of what I'm doing with, but um, so I'm going to back out of here, and this is really cool, it, this, this game is really great, I'm just going to jump right in and show you some of the things, uh, the pro tour career that I did. I did one here and it took basically the entire day and I, I think it was 32 people that were in it and it was all against computer players and when I got done I only got $120 and I was like seriously I just spent all that time going through the pro tour career and I only got 120 bucks that uh, that was pretty bad but this hustler one's pretty cool this hustler one you can actually gamble against people you're trying to work work your way up to the top boss and I believe his name's curly and so far it's pretty cool you can buy cues out of there you can do all kinds of things I really like it um, the next thing we have uh, the video lessons we've already covered the settings there is a ton of different settings in here and now this is the second time trying to record this review the first time I basically did the entire review and go to play back my video and it did not have my voice whatsoever the reason it didn't have it was because of this lovely thing right here it says toggle frame rate this thing was set as at F9 as F9 now I use fraps to record basically all my PC gameplay and fraps is a great program for it because you can do live com like I'm doing right now this thing was set to uh, F9. Well, to record fraps, I hit F9 to start the recording, then I hit F9 to stop the recording. So that's why it didn't record. Then I just switched it over to F12, and it should work just fine now, hopefully. But let's go back into the settings here. Uh, you got camera, you got all different kinds of settings that you can do in here. The pivot English is the one that I like to use. Um, we have, you can set your mouse sensitivity, you can do the sound. I've turned the music way down because they just keep on playing the same song over and over and over, pretty much. Uh, they have the key mapping, um, which I kind of already went through a little bit. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. Uh, they have miscellaneous, and this is pretty cool because this is where you can do all different types of, you can do your table color, you can do the background, which is like this bar scene in the background here. They have training on and off, they have prompting, um, and that sort of thing. And then tracking, I keep the tracking off, because as you guys can see right down here, it has all these little lines, and that kind of gives you the direction that the ball is going to go. And because uh, you guys can use those if you're just starting out, it will help you, it will help you play, but personally I don't use them because... Um, I've been playing pool for oh, a long time now, over 20 years, so um, I've been playing it for a long time, but I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to do uh, play against myself. I'm just going to set this thing up to one game, if I can do one game, um, and it will be one match. Here is where you would set those lines. So you have a ghost ball, which kind of looks like a ghost ball pretty much, and it helps you, helps you aim for the most part. Ghost ball and then another line. Uh, you also have just the ball tracking, so it has all those little lines going around. And uh, but I'm keeping it off. So if you want to do it, uh, I I I use off. Um, I've set up the table to be. We're gonna set it for. I want to do the beach house one because I kind of like the way that that place looks. 
club table, eight ball world rules. So that's what we're going to use. Now, um, we're, we're going to try breaking this. Um, I'm, I do plan on doing some more videos on this if this video uh, goes well. So guys, please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Leave it a like, leave it a subscribe, do something like that. Um, and let me know if you guys want to see some more of these videos. Let's go ahead and get this game started. So I'm playing against myself. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna give you guys some of the uh, some of the I some of the keys that you use and also how you use the mouse when you're playing this. So right now I'm just holding down M on the keyboard, and as you guys can see, I'm just moving my mouse around, and that will move your cue ball all, all over the place. Now I tend to break just a little bit off center, and then I basically bring it down and look directly at the center of the rack right there. And to shoot, you hold down you hold down S to shoot. And you would you would basically just if you pull all the way back like this and then go forward It's gonna give you the power shot if you want a light shot You just pull it back a little bit and push forward on the mouse um, But we're just gonna crank on it I'm actually gonna hit E here to bring down my English a little bit so it's more center like that and I'm gonna hold down s and now I'm just gonna completely pull back on the cue and or pull back on the mouse and then push the mouse forward so hold down s pull back on the mouse push forward and that'll give you that'll give you your let your uh lice, um your crack don't scratch uh one thing that i that uh that i dislike about this game is i tend to scratch a heck of a lot more on this game than i normally would in real life it's almost like there is a magnet set in the cue ball that uh <laughs> that basically sucks it into the pockets i don't know it it, it was kind of funny it, it was getting frustrated at the times when i was when i was playing in like the hustler tur the hustling tournament and also the pro tour tournament because it was it was getting pretty frustrating um mainly what i do is i usually just try to hit um like a blow center for the most part um if you guys watch my pool nation video the thing that i talked about was the way that I shoot, the way that I shoot is if I'm shooting for a ball and I'm trying to cut it, for example, um, I usually use inside English. Um, it can be called something else, but what that kind of means is I use English that's kind of towards the pocket that I'm shooting the ball at. Now, you have to compensate a little bit. You have to adjust your aim a little bit in order to make up for that little bit of the spin that you're doing. But it's the way that I shoot and of course there we go we scratch <laughs> like I said there's a magnet in the ball uh, but because we're playing this I can hold down M and now I'm the other now I'm the other player so now I'm the PSW player and he's shooting at no I'm the pool shark wizard okay so I'm the first player here as you get, it's it's kind of hard to tell in the top left hand corner I wish that was a little bit brighter to say which one was up so right now the the top one where it says pool shark wizard is just a little bit brighter than the bottom one so that means I'm shooting at solids as you guys can see in the top uh, left hand corner there there's a solid ball and there's also a stripe ball but now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you more of what I'm talking about for my English type of thing I'm gonna move the ball just a little bit over here and you guys will kind of see what I mean by it so I'm gonna hit hold down E and I'm gonna move the uh, Q like a little bit towards the pocket I'm gonna adjust my aim a little bit and then I'm just gonna give it a nice soft touch and then what that does is it transfers the spin and it'll spin the ball in so we're still shooting at solids here and I'm gonna try doing a combo here and that didn't quite work out I hit it a little bit too hard um, that's the whole thing uh, one of the keys to pool is to hit it light don't crank on it. The only time I really try cranking on it is if I'm trying to get some really crazy uh, English or if I'm trying to uh, break the balls, basically. So as you guys just saw, I just did a little bit English towards the ball. And what it did is once it hit that rail, it reversed that English and kind of threw the ball more at the pocket. So we're still sh shooting at stripes here. I'm going to adjust it, go a little bit on the inside, adjust my aim just a hair and then shoot and I went behind at that time which is kind of a drag now one of the other keys that's pretty important here is if you hold down X it will give you an over the over the table view so this kinda lays out where all the balls are and kinda you can plan out where you wanna go because if you're in this view you really if you can only see stuff like in half the screen 
Now, of course, you could hold down W, and when you hold down W, that's kind of a walk away. Otherwise, uh, it, it kind of expands it just for a quick view type of thing, and you can still move it around that way. But if you hold down X, once you're up there, you can't move the queue around. It's just basically an overhead view, um, just a quick look type of thing. But with the W, you can kind of go, okay, I want this ball to go that way, and yada, yada, yada. So um, let's see. I'm going to try going for this ball right here. I'm going to use a little bit of top. And I'm going to try cutting that into the side. And it didn't quite work out, which is fine. Totally fine. Um, hopefully this won't be too bad. But guys, I'm going to give this game a 9.5. There's there's a couple of things that I don't like, but I'll be honest with you, I like this game a lot. It is the, the action that you can get off the balls from just doing English and that sort of thing. I'm going to bring down my view. I'll kind of give you guys a demonstration. If I go all the way down to do a lot of draw on here, not all the way down, but pretty pretty far down. You get a lot of action out of it. So I'm holding down S, and look at that spin that you get off there. So it's it's the physics are really great. The physics are physics are really really great. A lot better than Pool Nation. Um, the graphics are incredible on here, and it, it's just a it's a great all around game. Uh, one of the things that they advertise v Virtual Pool advertises is that it will improve your game and I can totally see how it would because they have the video tutorials on how to make certain shots and then once they once you watch the video tutorial you can actually go back and you can try the shot you can it, it will give you a shot uh, a choice to basically watch the watch the video and then right after the video is over it says try this shot out and then you can just go try out the exact same shot that the um, that the guy just basically did. Now I want to do a little bit of English on here and hopefully we can make that up top. There we go. And slow down. Oh, there goes the magnet again. <laughs> See, it's just, oh, that's, it's frustrating. It's definitely frustrating, but that's all right. You know, it brings it more of a challenge and it kind of, it kind of makes you a little bit more aware and it's uh it definitely uh, i can see pluses and minuses to it uh, it can get frustrating because it's like oh my god i scratched again come on but at the same time it's like all right it it will be more like okay hit it's a kind of a constant reminder to make sure that you're hitting the ball lighter because you can you can crank on this thing and you're you know i'm gonna just gonna crank on it for the heck of it and it will just kind of go all over the place but if you're hitting it lighter you, you have a better percentage chance of actually making the ball in the pocket so i'm going to go for the two in the corner here give it a little bit of speed didn't have had the right amount of speed had a good lead for the five ball but it was the aim was just a tad bit off try to do a little bit of english on here and hopefully this will throw the ball into the corner. Yep, it did. Good deal. And I hit a little bit more power on that one because I want to make sure that my English didn't just kind of suck, suck, suck it back, the cue ball back in that corner. So, you know that you can you'll get a feel after playing for a while, and this this game definitely helps. Oh no, that's not right. There we go. That seems about right. Oh, maybe I was right the first time. <laughs> but. It's a great guy. It's a great game, guys. Um, if you got 30 bucks sitting around, I highly, highly suggest going buying it. I mean, when you really think about it, if you're going into a billiard hall and you're in you're playing by the hour, it's usually about four dollars an hour to actually play a game of, to to play pool. So if you look at it from that number aspect, 30 bucks that you can pretty much play pool anytime you want is a pretty decent investment and it will help you in the long run i cranked on that thing way too hard and it's it's just a great game i like it but guys i think i'm gonna call the video good here um guys this is pool shark wizard please let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see some more of these leave it a like subscribe if you would like to see some more pool playing videos um i would like to do more of these i'm kind of using this video as a test to see 
if I get viewers to watch for the most part, but I enjoy the game. I, I would like to do more of these, but let me know down in the comments, guys, and by leaving those likes. But guys, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, and bye-bye.